Ronnie, Steve, how are you both today? Good, oh, thank wow, you very much. Congratulations on Marvel's Moon Girl and Devil Dinosaur. Um, I want to address each one of you, but the other one can chime in as well at any time. Uh, Rodney, um, what was your conversation like with uh, Lawrence Fishburne uh, when developing this project? And, and of all the Marvel properties out there, why did you decide on uh, particularly this one? Well, I didn't decide on it, but Lawrence did. You know, Lawrence is uh, surprisingly, if people don't know, is a big comic book guy. And he saw this comic book and he saw the potential in bringing a character like Lunella Lafayette and Devil Dinosaur to the screen. And uh, he's, you know, he he tapped in with his uh, producing partner, Helen Suglin of uh, Cinema Gypsy. And they made the call to Marvel and was like, hey, you guys need to do this. Let's make it happen. Awesome. Steve, uh, let's talk about the animation. How faithful, how close the animation is to the uh, comic book pages? Were there any changes, alterations that you guys had to do in terms of character designs, perhaps? I hear that Lunella didn't wear a uh, superhero suit in the comic books. Is that true? Uh, no, she had a superhero comic book. Uh, okay in the comic books and we love the comic books by the way and the comic books were absolutely a springboard for the show but retranslating anything into a different medium sometimes requires some some changing like from a book to a tv show so we had to kind of look at the designs and we we kind of put the family with uh they own the last roller rink in new york city because that would also make lunella really skilled at roller skates she's always been around roller skates so part of her superhero skill So, yeah, so the comic absolutely was an inspiration down the line. But as the show kind of went on, uh, we started to pull in even more influences from so many different places. And it kind of turned into its own thing. Uh, Rodney, uh, to follow up on that, the animation is so energetic, so vibrant, so imaginative. You know, it always pops, you know, whenever Moon Girl uh, imagines something kind of like Spider-Man into the Spider-Verse. Um, it's very lively and zany. Talk to me about that approach. Uh, was that always the intention also from the beginning to have uh, the visual style be 2D as opposed to computer generated animation? Oh, yes, definitely. You know, because comic books are a graphic medium and we wanted to really uh, play with that and and really showcase the graphic comic book aspect of the show. So we did a lot of with the black ink lines and the playing with the, the tones and the having inspired by Basquiat and uh, Warhol and the pop art and and uh, just really leaning into the design aspect and graphicness of what New York represents. And also with the animation style, just really playing around with vib- uh, the kind of style that is poppy. And then also when there's moments where you need to slow down and breathe and, and, and take in the subject matter, we have a mix of that and you have the, the language of that and the language of the emojis and things popping up to tell the story. So it's, we really wanted to play around with different styles and make it uh, very interesting to for the audience to look at. I, I love the uh, the integration of the uh, Black American culture, especially in the episode two about Black hair and the show premiering in Black History Month. So talk to me about the importance and significance of injecting those themes. And will we see more Black cultural themes come up in subsequent episodes throughout this season one? Oh, definitely. You know, Black culture is is basically part of everyday life. So, you know, it's not going to be something that we're just like, this is a special Black culture episode. It's a Black family. So you're going to obviously have elements of the Black culture in- integrated into the episode naturally. Yeah, and Lunella is the first African American teen superhero, uh, certainly for girl an animated series, girl superhero for an animated series. Yeah. So we're we're just super excited to kind of bring her to the audience, and we know the audience is going to love Lunella Lafayette as much as we do. Rodney and Steve, thank you so much for talking to me, and congratulations. Thank, thank you, Ron. You.